25 years ago, we hired this guy from Hodunk, Aberdeen, South Dakota. And for him to come in here and achieve the things that he's achieved for this school, um, you know, the things that he's accomplished, he must have been sent from God. Well, I think the biggest job that uh, Dick Engler had when he first became the head of the school was to bring the two cultures together, Sisters of St. Joseph and Christian Brothers. I called Sister Kay Egan, who was my advisor for my specialist degree, and she said, well, there's two positions open, one at Hill Murray and one at Creighton Darham Hall, but that's a mess. We were in turmoil when Dick got here. We had had a merger with uh, Darham Hall and two different cultures trying to merge, so it was a pretty stormy relationship for a while with the two communities. And he really brought stability and focus and a vision for the future. In his heart, I think he knows this school can have a great impact on students in the community, and he sees it every day. I interviewed with, I think it was about eight or 10 on the committee, and spent the day at Great and Durham Hall and was immensely impressed with the student body. It was very important for Dick to have us come up with our own mission statement. He didn't tell us our mission statement. He empowered the teachers and the community to come up with what is our mission and what are our values. We truly followed the vision statement of the brothers and the sisters through the development of our mission statement and the seven values. Catholic, academic, leadership, service, equity, diversity, community. That's known by parents and teachers and students alike. He loves the kids and, and I think he's just driven by the values of the brothers and the sisters. I think in a lot of ways, if you wrote a book about Creighton Durham Hall, you would begin with chapter one about Dick Engler. It's his love of the, of the kids and the, and the potential he sees in every one of them. He tries to make sure every kid feels welcome uh, and appreciated and noticed. Just his love of young people and his, his, uh, his commitment to accessibility for all students. It's all about the students and, and he shows it and it's just in every vein in his body, he believes it. I think the biggest difference maker for Dick has been his passion, the passion that he would bring to the school every day. And uh, it was his passion, I think, that really was able to inspire the faculty and the students and everyone else connected to, to Creighton Darrell Hall. You know, there are very few people like that in the world, whether it's in business, whether it's uh, at universities, whether it's in high schools. And you know what makes them tick is very difficult to figure out. Probably the challenge and the fact that he actually really loves what he's doing. He's got a quality I've never seen in anybody. He believes in this place and uh, when somebody uh, feels that way about um, uh, an organization, then it's easy for them to get out of bed in the morning and say, wow, another opportunity. Day after day, I've just loved being here. He's a man of deep, deep faith. He has a deep and abiding love for the church and for Jesus Christ, and he really wants that to be what Catholic education is about at Creighton Durham Hall. I like to pray, um, and I get solace and comfort and strength from prayer. And so it is part of who I am. Dick's a very, he's a very religious person. So when you talk about the charisms of the brothers and the sisters, uh, he's absolutely committed to their, to their mission. And most importantly, uh, he, he's an incredible leader. God has always been there. And so uh, it's, it is essential. What I'm gonna really miss most about Dick Engler is our opportunity to pray together every morning. We meet every morning at 7.15 in the school chapel and um, he's the first face I see usually when I open the door and uh, that's been a beautiful blessing to me as an individual. I know it is to this school community. Dick is a man of, of great integrity and high ideals. Every decision that Dick made was based on um, students and if it was going to uh, make their education better, if they were going to achieve, if they were going to be happy, if their faith was going to grow, uh, he would go back and look at that for everything he did. 
Number one, we become more diverse. Um, number two, I would say we're maniacally focused on social justice. And number three, we're financially secure. He's living out what he believes. I think he truly cares about Creek Durham Hall. It's not just a job. This is where his home is. This is the place he wants to make it a fantastic school, and he believes in it. He believes in his faculty, and he sure lets you know that. I think he's a visionary. I think he's extremely bright. I would never tell him this, except now that he's leaving, I can tell him. But he, he, has a, he can grasp a problem figure out a solution, and then implement it. What drives Dick Engler, in my mind, is the continued pursuit of excellence. He, he's an energy field walking around the school. He really cares about people, and he cares about Creek Nairm Hall, so every day, and he's a little hyper. He's ADD for sure. Dick is hysterically funny, and um, funny to be with. He has wonderful idiosyncrasies that we love to mock, and he takes that very well. That energy that he has, he's brought it to bear on all the things that come across his desk. One of Dick's greatest assets is his ability to be humble and laugh at himself. I do want the CDH community to know how special a school they have. Um, this school is phenomenal. I wish you the very best. Thank you for being my good friend. Um, I love you, um, I always will, and I certainly hope you'll be just a phone call away if I need any help. I would wish for Dick that he enjoy this next chapter in his life, and at the same time um, to embrace whatever new opportunities uh, God chooses to send his way. The Sisters of St. Joseph are grateful, applaud and celebrate you and wish you a multitude of blessings as you enter your retirement years. I hope that he can spend a lot of time with, as a loving grandfather with his kids. And on a personal note, I just want to say, Dick, thank you so much for all you've done for Cream Darum Hall and for the Midwest District of the Christian Brothers. He looked at me and he goes, well, you won't be here very long. You're probably only going to be here a couple of years and you'll leave. And I thought that was a funny thing to say and I want to let him know I'm still here. <laughs> I like to use the word refirement. Just kind of turn the fire of your heart and the energies of your heart towards something else, something new. The passion that he brings to everything he does is so valuable to our community. I hope he doesn't lose that. It's kind of easy to sit back and say, well, we'll always be great, but you won't be. The moment you say that, you're going to start slipping. So it's constant pursuit of excellence. I will miss the day-to-day -day interaction with Dick. Uh, he's somebody that I really trust and when uh, I need an opinion on something and it may not be the opinion I want um, but when I need to talk to somebody Dick is the first person I go to. I guess I'd wish for Bridget good luck. A lot of things I'm doing I um, realize it's the last time that I'll be able to do this um, and so I've decided to not think about retirement yet, uh, but rather to enjoy this year. I would like to thank Dick for his commitment to Creighton Durham Hall and uh, for 25 years of hard work. The whole place, it just seems to sing. Bridget and I will be together and I know I'll be busy and I'll be happy. We're really blessed to have Dick here and uh, good luck Dick, I appreciate your leadership. He's one heap good guy. When you touch thousands and thousands of lives, it's like a ripple in a pond, and his impact will just go on and on and for generations. Thank you. Uh, that's all I can say is thank you for the many years of support and love. So it's been great.